will need to get familiar with OpenAI's API, the playground for this example. You can find the link in the description. Playground gives you a visual interface to their API. If we quickly go through the settings, we have models and one important setting here is the temperature. It controls randomness. You know how ChatGPT sometimes acts as a straight A student and the other times a wild poet? That's because of temperature. When temperature is zero, it produces deterministic results. It always goes with the most probable option. See how it responds to the simple rhyme twinkle twinkle. Now, if I crank it up to a high setting like two, it becomes super creative. So temperature is like a secret sauce when you build apps with this large language models. Everything else in this settings side of things is a slight variation of temperature. We can cover everything in a dedicated video. One important thing you need to note is the maximum length. You need to pay attention because you are built based on the number of tokens. Depending on the purpose of your bot, you need to adjust this max token setting. For this example, I'm using GPT 3.5 Turbo model. Once selected, you see this default system message is you are a helpful assistant. But we can specify the tone, personality and the role of the AI here. Okay, next step, I'll log into the Google account. Create a new Google Sheet called Email Autosend with one field email. And then the next stop is Zapier. Once you're in, hit Create Zap. Trigger would be Google Sheets. The event is new or updated spreadsheet row. Continue. It will prompt you to log in with your Google account. I already have mine. Continue spreadsheet the one that you just created email auto send the worksheet sheet one yes and the trigger column can be anything continue okay no spreadsheet row found now it's time to create a row with our email back to zapier now we test the next is chat gpt event is conversation we hit continue you are prompted to log in with your ChatGPT account. I've already connected mine. You need to have your API keys handy to complete this step. This is where you find them. Go to personal, view API keys, create new secret key if you don't have one. Hit continue. Action. Here's where the magic happens. Use a message. This is where you set what the AI should do. For this example, I'm saying send a funny introduction email as Alex or Mosey in less than 50 words. But you can do whatever you want, whether it's client outreach or sending out proposals. You can select various variables such as, in this case, I've only captured email, right? If you can set a name, their company and their challenges and their dream outcome, chat gpt will craft the that perfect email in seconds instead of you wasting hours on it for model i'm selecting gpt 3.5 turbo continue let's test the action we got the results back i'm alex Armozi. perfect and the final step of this tutorial which is connecting our gmail account the event send an email send email continue account make sure you log in with your google account hit continue this is where we select our email address that we entered in google sheet so zapier will know where to look for the additional data to send out from address would be our google account that we just logged in you can set the from name anything. For this, I'm setting auto email money. Subject, let's say Alex here. <laughs> Body, I'm, this is the important part. This is how you select the assistant response message, which is chat GPT response in the body. 
you can add whatever you want in addition to AI messages. So let's test the action now. Perfect, sent. We can go ahead and publish now. As the zap is published, let's see if I received the email. Alex here from awesome auto email money. As you can see, I got the message instantly. Now let's try with another email. Let's go to our Google Sheets, enter a new email address. Let's give that a few minutes. Perfect. It took me about eight minutes. As you can see, the emails that I received in both of these cases is completely different. So that's what makes this so powerful. It took me less than 30 minutes to set up and it's saving me hours of time. Remember, these tools can be used to provide additional value to your clients. You can give it to them for free. Once set up, they require very little effort to maintain. Check out this video where I will show you how to build a bot using Flowwise AI.